Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Reverts here, and uh, today I want to show you guys some of the hidden little secrets about the new Banshee shotgun in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, this gun might be the most unique weapon we've ever seen in Call of Duty history, and one of my friends and a fellow YouTuber, Mr. Hunt Noobs, posted a tweet that perfectly describes this gun, and he said it kind of feels like a hybrid between a shotgun, a sniper, and a rocket launcher. Now, you might be wondering, how can a weapon that's listed as a shotgun become a sniper rifle, or even how can it shoot down air support? Well, the reason why it can be classified as a sniper is because this gun has unlimited range. Now, in the game, play on screen I have my friend sitting in top barn on the map fringe and he's gonna shoot me all the way across the map to uh, the top whites and as you can see he gets a one-shot kill from that far of a distance but because this gun has unlimited range there are some drawbacks and one of those is the energy balls travel time is super slow so if uh, someone is trying to shoot at you from across the map you can actually dodge the shot if uh, you can predict where it's gonna be now another really cool feature about this gun is it takes down air support like a rocket launcher and in the gameplay on screen here's me shooting down the wraith and with a banshee it takes a total of three energy balls to destroy it which is super easy to do now for the wraps it takes a total of four shots to kill the drop helicopter but if you can destroy that fast enough I'm pretty sure you can even stop the wraps from even entering the map so uh, that's pretty cool there but in the gameplay on screen right now I only had a couple wraps that fell on the map but I'd still rather have just a couple wraps than like a whole army of them so again that's pretty cool there and next up we have the mothership now the mothership is going to take a total of six shots to destroy it and I do got to say that if you plan on using this gun as a rocket launcher along with a shot or sniper I highly recommend using blind eye or cold blood because that way you'll be detected by the enemy score streaks and um, so yeah, that's, that's a really good combo to use. Now me and my friend JP tested practically every score streak in the game. And pretty much all the ground based score streaks are not even worth trying to destroy because they did take forever. Like the Cerberus here, the Sentry Gun, or the Guardian. So uh, yeah, it's not even worth trying to destroy it. But I do gotta say the GI unit took a total of two shots to kill it. And uh, that's pretty easy to destroy it. So I'll keep that in mind guys. Um, but yeah, those are just a couple of secrets about the um, new Banshee shotgun if you guys are interested in that. But um, it is really fun to use guys, I do gotta say. And if you see this gun on the ground, then be sure to pick it up. Because getting kills with this thing is pretty satisfying. And um, yeah, let me know thoughts about this down in the comments. Also drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'm Verts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time. I'll catch you guys later.